excited. This has been long overdue and uh, really grateful for all the partnership with everyone. And I'd like to introduce David Dion, President, Velocity Truck Rental Leasing. All right. Yeah, I just want to uh, repeat what Jen said. Thank you very much for coming here today. This has been a, a journey for us to uh, get these chargers up and running. We wanted to make sure that we got ahead of the curve and making sure that no matter what our community wanted, uh, as far as the driver, they wanted to get the zero emissions vehicles. And if they do decide on the uh, battery electric, that we're here for them. And as a rental company, it puts us in a very interesting space because we can let people try it without that uh, investment everybody keeps you know having horror stories about and really if you think about it and you plan it out and you get the right partners like we did which several of them are here so thank you um, then you can realize that it is um, it's feasible it's real this is not something that's a pipe dream this is the world we live in today and as people are ready to join this world we want to be here for them and allow them to test them with the rental trucks so having the chargers and having the units here for people to operate has been a, uh, a mission for Velocity and not just truck rental leasing, but we have several pieces of Velocity that are supporting uh, this leap into the future. So with all of that said, I also want to introduce the uh, president and CEO of Velocity Vehicle Group, Brad Faber, to make a, uh, a statement here for you. Thanks, David. Yeah, you guys have uh, really shown the commitment <laughs> in actual physical assets. Most people are still talking about it. Most people are trying to run away and avoid it, duck and cover. Uh, but look, we're, we're a part of this economy in Southern California. In fact, we've got a fleet of 2,000 vehicles here. So in order for us to be compliant, we have to be engaged in kind of the, the clean truck program and as it's evolved over time. And we've got to be uh, put, putting putting money into this start charging infrastructure and it's going to be there therefore then available to, to all of our external customers as well For, at VVG we've leaned in to um, you know clean trucking since 2008 when Eric Neandros convinced me to go in and get get Daimler to build some heavy-duty natural gas trucks for the ports for the first clean truck program in the ports uh, I lost a lot of hair during that process uh, a lot of twists and turns but I think what we found is it's really important for our customer base to understand what the regulations are, not only because we live here and we want to have clean air and we, we, we believe in that future, but because we became a valuable resource for our customers and it really was the foundation for providing grants through our finance company, Crossroads Equipment Lease and Finance as well, uh, helping people uh, apply for and write grants. Uh, we, we were one of the largest participants in that program and now we're moving on to the next phase, which is electric vehicles. We're obviously fully committed here at VTRL. You can see we've got our own fleet of electric vehicles for rent and for lease. And in addition, we're the exclusive distributor for we're the exclusive distributor for Ryzen Trucks, which is Daimler Trucks' ninth brand. It's a fully electric uh, class four and five uh, truck, is, which we see here in front of us. We're very proud of that. We're the exclusive distributor for Canada and and, and the U.S. Um, so we're fully in, we're fully committed. Great to have you guys here today. We look forward to the cutting of the ribbon. Uh, good morning, thanks everyone. And uh, just so you know, we did not have anything to do with the strategy behind the batteries in the microphones. Uh, yeah, thanks again for having us here. Uh, we're with Trio Consulting. So we partnered with Velocity to come up with the strategy for how to deploy these chargers at their locations throughout Southern California and how to really help that tremendous investment that Velocity was making come to reality, make sure they've got charging infrastructure that's functional, useful, and can serve their customer base as, as they need it to. Um, as we went through this development process with, with Velocity, uh, they were tremendous partners, tremendous uh, involvement from the stakeholders at the, at the corporate level as well as at the site level. And that was a key piece in, in bringing these, uh, these projects to fruition. As we go through the design and development of projects like this, it's very key uh, that we look at the operational efficiency of all of these sites. One thing that uh, can be a detriment to de deploying charging infrastructure for electric vehicles is designing a site that then is no longer operationally efficient. And so we go through a very uh, uh, diligent process 
of developing conceptual designs, looking at the, the, the vehicle movement, looking at how the, the trucks are coming and going, how are the drivers and the operators and, and the, uh, the, the site, uh, site workers using the vehicles to make sure that what we've designed and built actually it doesn't, doesn't uh, take away from the operational efficiency, but in many cases actually improves that operational efficiency. This site here in Fontana was great because it was a brand new, very uh, beautifully laid out site that had a perfect area for deploying the infrastructure. For those of you that get a chance to see the tremendous deployments at their other locations, City of Industry, uh, Rancho Dominguez, and San Diego, you'll see some of those sites had some more challenges in terms of how to lay out the infrastructure. And so working very closely with the Velocity team, we were able to develop uh, projects that for them will allow them to uh, charge their electric trucks efficiently uh, but not create a burden on the site in terms of uh, loss of space and, and inability to park trucks. Uh, so that's a huge piece uh, that I think is missed oftentimes when charging infrastructure is deployed. So we're very, we're very happy that Velocity was interested in partnering with us on how to overcome those challenges. Uh, the other thing is looking at what incentives could Velocity leverage to be able to offset the costs of this infrastructure. Uh, and so utilizing state and utility funding, we were able to really uh, provide for Velocity uh, attractive capital investment that leveraged as much of that uh, capital offset that's out there on the market. Uh, and finally, when it came to actually getting through the engineering and then designing or taking care of the construction of these projects, uh, running competitive RFPs for the Velocity team, making sure that we got for them competitive pricing, and, and high quality, safe installation of, of these projects. And so you can see here, the infrastructure is, is installed in a very neat, clean manner. Uh, we were able to do it with minimal disruption to the sites, get the infrastructure in the ground quickly, um, and a great partnership with SCE to be able to get the projects energized in a timely manner. Uh, so these projects came to fruition. I think we were talking, Andy and I were talking this morning, the overall timeline from thinking about what we were doing here and even just coming up with how many chargers and what type of chargers to the day that we actually were able to plug in trucks was just about two years, which is actually unheard of in the industry right now. We see a lot of projects that are taking uh, you know, three and four years to come from inception to fruition. So uh, tremendous uh, uh, partnership again with Velocity, great involvement from each of the stakeholders at every level with the company. Uh, and then I couldn't, I couldn't agree with their uh, options of placing the charge, chargers better. Out here in the Inland Empire, right next to all of the logistics centers, along the major freight corridors in the city of industry and Rancho Dominguez, really well placed to be able to pick up all of that, that uh, coming charging that's gonna be necessary as drayage operations run from the ports out to the Inland Empire. So again, very, very proud for the TRIO team to be involved in this and excited that we uh, can be part of today's event. So thanks very much. Thank you, Simon. All right, so our next guest speaker is Chanel Parson. Chanel is the Director of Clean Energy and, uh, and Demand Response at Southern California Edison. Please welcome Chanel. Good morning, everyone. Happy to be with you here on this sunny Southern California morning. Uh, in my role at Southern California Edison, I um, am responsible for SCE's efforts to support and accelerate the adoption of clean energy transportation and clean energy technologies for homes and businesses. It's an honor to be here today and celebrate this significant milestone with Velocity. This project aligns with California's ambitious goal to reach carbon neutrality by 2045, and SCE is dedicated to supporting that goal. Last year, SCE uh, updated our analysis on what it would take for California to meet carbon neutrality in 2045. And we identified that 90% of light and medium duty vehicles, 80% of buses, and 54% of heavy duty vehicles need to be electric in order to meet this, this ambitious goal. Um, while medium duty and heavy duty vehicles are vital to our economy, delivering goods, um, you know, supplying critical services, we also know that they're responsible for 23% of all of the transportation sector GHG emissions in this country. Uh, we also know that diesel exhaust negatively 
impacts the environment and the people living in the communities that are near highways and warehouses, uh, rail yards, and ports because it contains over 40 carcinogens and particles that contribute to ailments like heart disease and asthma and cancer. So it's imperative for the environment and for the people who are in the communities that we electrify transportation. So this is why SCE is driving towards our clean energy future and we're enhancing the grid so it's ready, reliable, and resilient to support projects like these. And we also offer a variety of services and incentives to support our customers on the electrification journey. So we offer things like economic development, advisory services, charging infrastructure, um, incentives on vehicle rebates, as well as EV rates, uh, electric rates after the, the installations are complete. And all of this is really to help make electric transportation more affordable and available for our customers. Our Charge Ready Transport program, um, which supported this project, is a prime example of that. And that program is over $300 million targeted to support electrifying over 8,000 medium duty and heavy duty vehicles at 500 sites. And in that, in that particular program, SCE does the design, build, and project management of both the utility side infrastructure and the customer side infrastructure for EV charging. I do want to say a special congratulations to Velocity for being a leader in the adoption of medium duty and heavy duty electric vehicles. Your commitment to sustainability sets a powerful example for others in the industry. Also, your rental model or your trucks as a service model is really critical because it enables people who might not otherwise be able to electrify to um, jump into electric transportation. So very valuable, especially in this, in this early piece of the market. I also would like to extend my gratitude to everyone who's been involved in making this project a success. So um, kudos to the Southern California Edison team who worked tirelessly to support this project. It takes a village to pull one of these projects off. Um, to our local government officials who helped provide essential support and guidance. To the automotive OEMs and the EV charging station manufacturers like Daimler and Detroit eFill. This project is a clear demonstration of what's possible um, and what's necessary when we partner together on the journey toward our clean energy future. So together, we are making significant strides toward a cleaner and more sustainable future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chanel. Our next honored speaker is Hannon Russell. Hannon is the Director of California Energy Commissioner's Fuels and Transportation Division. Hannon? Welcome. Great, thank you. Uh, yeah, my name is Hannah Rasool, and I'm with the California Energy Commission. And I just love being at these kind of events because state regulations are imperative to what we do here, and they provide the backbone and clear guidance of where we need to get. And then it's backed up with state incentives, also utility incentives. The California Energy Commission has invested over a billion dollars in the last decade to help with zero emission vehicle infrastructure and we will be investing over a billion dollars more in the next five years alone, with over half of that going to medium duty, heavy duty vehicle infrastructure. And this is for so many reasons, you already heard about you know, the importance of reducing diesel emissions in our communities, and that's what Velocity is doing here with these investments. There's something I heard years ago that stuck with me, is that if you know someone's zip code, you have a good sense of their health outcomes, because those who live near highways, near ports, near diesel emissions, they will have worse outcomes. They may die sooner, they may have asthma, they have, may have heart issues. And so while we're very much doing this to deal with the climate crisis, it's also about public health in our communities. And you know, for all the state regulations and for all the state investments, it's really entities like Vol the Velocity and TRIO that are making this real on the ground by being forward thinking and a, a really embracing that change. Because you know, we've heard about Blockbuster, we've heard about Blackberry, but there are small and large companies that will fail if they don't embrace technological change because the world is moving forward. And so these investments, these technologies, they offer something that diesel and gas vehicles don't. Um, when you speak to the drivers, they by and large, there's some trepidation at first, you know, new things can be kind of scary, but by and large, those who drive these vehicles, they prefer them. They're quieter, they're cleaner, there's less vibration when you drive them. 
and they can very often meet the duty cycles we need. You know, maybe not all today, but the way battery technology is evolving, certainly by when the, all those regulations get into place. But even today, a lot of routes, a lot of duties can be met with zero emission technology. So I really just want to commend Velocity for making these investments and being leaders. Thank you. Last but not least, we are so proud to have Eric Neandros, president of Clean Transportation Solutions, say a few words. Thanks, Jennifer. It's, it's nice to be here. So uh, as was mentioned, my name is Eric Neandros. I'm the president of CTS, or Clean Transportation Solutions, which is a group within uh, a company called TRC that uh, purchased our company last year, uh, formerly known as, as DNA. Uh, so it works in the commercial transportation space. We work with heavy-duty truck manufacturers, their dealers, networks, infrastructure providers, utilities, and others to help really develop and bring this product to market and uh, hopefully commercialize it and, and bring it to scale. Um, we also run the, the nation's sort of large uh, trade show and industry conference around these issues. And one of the things that we hear time and time again through all of these activities is the infrastructure, the infrastructure. It's really so critical. We, we've developed the trucks, the trucks are out there, they're available, a little pricey, but they're available, they work, um, but we need the infrastructure. And so it's really great to see to days like today to see that infrastructure starting to fill the gaps and we've seen the results of that. Um, all, really all around California as the infrastructure develops, the trucks start to hit the road more and more and are able to utilize them more and more. So it, it, it's an important part of the puzzle. But I think one of the things is, as I you know, think about days like today that um, really comes to mind more than anything is change in the world and successful change doesn't happen without real leadership. And uh, big kudos to Brad and David and Conan for taking this leadership position in the industry. And as Brad mentioned, uh, we've been working together for more than 15 years. Uh, we, we helped to put the first natural gas trucks on the road in the ports way back in the day, which uh, as I was sitting here thinking about that is kind of reminds me of having children. You think it's a great idea, right? Let's go do this and get all excited. Then you do it and you're like, shit, this is hard. And there are days that are very, very trying. You know, when Brad gets called to Bob's office, those are tough days. And then you say, I'm never doing this again. But you get through it and, and ultimately you, you see success. And then you do it again. Um, and so here we are again. And just really big kudos to, to Brad and David and Conan and the entire Velocity team for their leadership in the industry for you know, putting their money where their mouth is and making projects like this happen and being a critical part of you know, eCascadia, EM2, bringing the Ryzon to market and now the infrastructure and putting together innovative packages for customers to get behind the wheel and start to drive these trucks. So appreciate the opportunity to be here and uh, congrats again to the Velocity team. All right, so I wanted to just ex extend a special thank you to all of our speakers. I'm so happy you made the time to come out today. It's hot, we're grateful. But uh, well, let's commence to the uh, ribbon cutting. I'd like to call David, Brad, and Andy, please. And then please stay after the ribbon cutting. We have so much food. I'm not allowed to uh, Run with hold scissors. these type of scissors. This is a one, one time event. <laughs> <laughs> one a moment. Well, thank you all for coming, and this is a, a big day, and I appreciate your support, everybody that helped us get here, and uh, 